the Bonneville family revived the fortunes of the Triumph brand in the 21st century. It married old school charm with modern day riding dynamics. And in 2016, the whole family received a whole host of updates such as electronics, bigger powerful engines and more importantly the whole styling became a lot more cooler. Well the entry point into the brand was the Street Twin and for 2019 it has received a whole lot of updates and it might not be visual but it has made the bike a whole lot more younger and here's what's up with the new Street Twin. So here's what's new in the new Street Twin. Well, firstly, the styling. It gets subtle updates such as the headlamp bracket, which now comes in this lovely machine aluminium finish. Then you get these new alloys, which are also cast aluminium. Then the side panels, they get a new design, plus it gets the new logo. Moving on to the mechanical bit, it gets an uprated 41mm Kayaba open cartridge type fork. Then you have Instead of the old Nissin 2-pot brakes at the front, you get the Brembo 4-pot actually mounted brakes. And then lastly, the biggest change comes in the engine, which is now 15% more powerful than before. And even though the torque is the same, it is made at slightly higher RPM. And that means you have a wider torque band. Well, you would think that these updates would increase the price of the street twin but no that's not the case the street twin was the entry point into the bonnie family it was also the entry point into the triumph brand and it has become even more cheaper it's become cheaper by twenty-five thousand rupees and let's not forget the street twin was and still is the most affordable british twin you can get in india today Well, yes and no, because it was. Now though, say hello to the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. What are you doing here, PD? I thought this was the Street Twin video. We are supposed to test the Street Twin out. I don't Street understand. It is a very good bike, no question about it. But if you want a classic British twin, why would you buy that when you can get the Interceptor for so much lesser? British. Interceptor. Royal Enfield. You know where it's made, right? It's made in Chennai, not in Coventry. Well, it's British where it matters and that is in the way it feels. But more importantly, your bike, the Street Twin, costs three times as much as the Interceptor. Is it three times the bike? Oh, okay. Uh, what did you like to have? I'll take a coffee, please. So I want one Java chip frappuccino, skim milk instead of regular milk, an extra espresso shot, a little bit drizzle of caramel, a bit of chocolate, and don't forget whipped cream. Sir, can you repeat your order? Okay, one Java chip frappuccino instead of regular milk. I want skim milk, a little bit extra chocolate, drizzle of caramel, two pumps of uh, espresso, and don't forget whipped cream. Cool. PD, you have to agree that Triumph is the more premium of those two brands at least. Yes, I mean, sure, Royal Enfield at one point wasn't considered that premium, but now with the arrival of the Twins, they are definitely moving up that ladder. The Twins add that sense of premiumness to the brand for sure. But ask any real biker, which bike would they rather have in the garage? A Triumph or a Royal Enfield? The one who's sensible will pick the Royal Enfield and save a lot of money as well. But money is not everything, no? It's supposed to give you the riding feel also. It does feel as good as the Street Twin. Okay. Just look at the two bikes together in one frame. The Street Twin looks so much more premium, so much more well-built, well-packaged. Man, look at the paint quality. I know the orange chrome really looks nice on the Interceptor, but that paint quality on the tank and then those, the headlight bracket, that machine finished aluminium and then the Alcantara seats. Does your RE give you that? No. And when you see the bikes together, the, the twin looks so much more compact that it makes the Interceptor look unnecessarily large.
you have to agree the street twin looks cool sure but if you want a classic british motorcycle you want classic styling and on that front the street twin looks like a modern interpretation of a british classic design on the other hand the royal enfield looks like a properly classic bike but importantly it rides like a modern motorcycle does it get ride by wire does it get rider mods does it get traction control does it get liquid cooling no and all that makes the street twin so much more better to ride but all the things are very superfluous for the riding experience okay let's just settle it once and for all in the streets so you order Really thought your 650 could beat my 900, but PD, you've forgotten what it is like to be fast on a motorcycle. I was way ahead of you, man. You weren't that ahead of me. What do you mean not that much? Zero to hundred, I was one and a half seconds quicker than you. I mean, think about it. That bike is three times the size of this bike, and it's not three times as quick. For any bike to be three times as quicker than your interceptor, I would need something like a Hayabusa or a Padiga Levi for not this. I mean, I'm a simple man who does simple maths, and in the things that matter, this interceptor does things just as well as the street twin. I mean, if you're on the highway cruising at 100 to 120 kilometers per hour, it's just as smooth, and it'll do that speed all day long, just like the street twin. Okay, what if I wanted to go a little bit more faster? What if we were all, both of us, heading to Goa, and I go a little bit faster? That is where your bike will struggle, though. I mean, faster than 120 on Indian roads? Come on, it's not really feasible at all. And yes, you might get there a little bit faster, but that's just a little bit. I mean, it's not going to make a big difference in the long run. And of course, at those speeds, you need good braking hardware, and the interceptor has you covered on that front as well. I mean, honestly, these brakes are much cheaper than your fancy Brembos, and they stop just as well. Braking distances are identical from all speeds. Fancy brakes. Which company makes those calipers, by the way? Vibre. And the full form of Vibre is? By Brembo. By Brembo. But I mean, listen. It's made in India, and it's a lot cheaper than your fancy four water, and it works just as well. I've had enough. I want some more coffee. You millennials and your coffee. Honestly, what we had was not coffee. So, Jihan, now that you've had your fill of caffeine, mm. let's get down to the basics. Now, these bikes are not performance bikes from any angle. And while they are good on the highway, they are not really meant for outright touring. Cool. Where they will spend most of their time is in the city. Yep. And yeah. there, the interceptor does feel a little bit better. It's got that nice wide handlebar and they're quite mm-hmm. tall as well. So that gives you a lot of leverage. So when you're motoring through traffic, hmm. it's so much easier on the interceptor. Yeah. On the other hand, on the street one, those low bars and a heavy front end means motoring through tight traffic feels yeah. a bit of a task. Okay. Steering through traffic, I agree. The interceptor at the edge, but when you come to a halt, when you are in the parking lot, you know, you want to park your bike, move it around. I think over there, the compact nature of the street twin, the dimensions, and also the low seat height helps it just to move around a bit more easily. And I know for a fact those white foot pegs on the interceptor. Well, if you try to move it around, it will give a kick in your shin, and the bike is a bit too heavy in that sense. when you're just trying to push it around and don't forget what happened in our pillion test so the seat on the interceptor it's much more padded it's a lot softer okay this thing is lower this got the lovely foam over here and look at this man alcantara leather come on It has that nice with that finish and as we know softer is better Okay, let me call on somebody who will be an impartial jury over here. Yeah. Hey, Ray. Hey. Have you managed to convince your parents on on the 125 deal? Well, not yet. You know what happened. Yeah. But you know something? You're going to get older, and then you're going to move on to big bikes like these. Yeah. So, 
So these two make the most sense for you technically. So do you want to go out on the ride? Of course, why not? Cool, cool, cool. Ah, uh, but Pillion only. What again? Yeah. Fine. So the street one was better, no? You felt it a bit better. But Ray, this is softer seat. Uh, but but Ray, the ride was so much better. Yeah. But at slow speed, this is a better ride. Yeah. But Ray, how much how much low the seat? But this is just much cheaper. Aray, street one. Moving on to ride quality, the interceptor suspension is softer and feels more plush on our roads. Sure. It can feel a little too soft at times, but that can be easily fixed by bumping up the rear preload. But the interceptor still feels bouncy on bigger bumps, and when it bottoms out, prepare for an almighty shock to your backside. The Street Twin, on the other hand, yes, it feels more firm in general, but the damping is a lot more sophisticated. And it soaks up larger bumps without getting upset. Again, where it matters, the interceptor gets an edge. The street twin might be much quicker off the line, but the interceptor has better rideability. At modest speeds, in both third and fourth gear, the RE accelerates better than the Triumph, and that's exactly what you need in the city. Blame this on the Triumph's taller gearing. Both bikes may run the same tires, but thanks to alloy wheels, they are tubeless on the street twin. You might say that it doesn't matter for the most part, but when you get a puncture, there's no escaping the indignity of pushing your bike to the puncture wall. Fine, fine. I'll give those points to the Street Twin, but in our lovely weather conditions, the Interceptor does have an edge. Now, your motor it's bigger, it's mm -hmm. liquid cool, but mm -hmm. there's a problem, right? It's going to throw a lot of heat at you, yes, it does. especially when you're in slow moving traffic. Yep. And this big nature of this engine, it is unnecessarily big. It's not yeah. unnecessary. It has it dissipates heat so much better. So yeah. when you're in traffic, there are zero hot spots around your knees or your ankles. And I mean, we have spent like hours on this bike yeah. in traffic. Yeah, it does not run hot at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, I faced that issue quite a bit over here. But let me tell you something. Even though it is big in terms of cubic capacity, my motor actually returns the same fuel efficiency as your 650 twin. So technically, this 900 is the more efficient engine of the two. Yeah, but then this bike has the bigger tank, which means you get a bit more range. Just slightly, but fuel costs aren't the only running costs for these motorcycles. When you factor in maintenance, service, mm -hmm. parts, yeah. I mean, come on, Triumph versus Royal Enfield, is that even a question? Yeah, I get that. When you are factoring to buy a premium, big imported bike, and then you have to factor in stuff like big cost for your running, maintenance, and serviceability. And in that sense, I think the Royal Enfield has the edge over here. Yeah. That's the advantage of having a British bike. That's made in India. So Jehan, are you now convinced that the Interceptor is better value for money than the Street Twin? See, there was never really a doubt. The Interceptor offers phenomenal value for money. But when you talk about being the better bike, well, the Street Twin triumphs over the Royal Enfield, and you have to agree with me on that. Yeah, I'd be silly if I said that the interceptor is as good as the Street Twin in those regards. But the question that we asked was, is it worth three times as much for all that extra bit? And in that sense, I am still not entirely convinced. If it was twice the price, yeah, maybe it would make more sense. See, if you want a Bonnie, you have to spend that much bit more and get yourself a Bonnie. True. So I think we need to ask this question to somebody else. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that the street tuner is worth 
three times that of the Interceptor. And if you had to pick between these two bikes, which one would you pick? Do let us know in the comments below and the best comment will get pinned in the video. So until next time, ciao.